Not a lot of us have received much, much, much more than whatever we could have given to anyone. The large heart, the warm heart, the soft smile and love that we have received is unforgettable. This is, of course, from one unit of my family, Vishavattam. So, while giving you the greetings, I greet all, wherever they be, belong to an extended, large extended family. Any other place, any other country, anywhere. Yes. Sankranti is a source. The very name implies progress. But great astro astronomical importance has been given to this, and a corollary to it, it carries with it a, a great amount of astrological importance also, significant. The astronomy part of it is very carefully calculated and then interpreted in terms of its results for the humanity in general, India in particular, to the believer in more particular. <laughs> As TAB has already given the years of predicted as predicted or interpreted last year. I confirm that another three, three and a half years after we passed before we see the Ides of March, the change, much awaited change for better all over. The celebration is very much justified when no one around is in sorrow or in what. The unequal distribution of wealth and the opening chasm between the haves and have nots in the country, political unrest, <coughs> corrupt governance, inefficiency in governance, all these things um, we are forced to draw our attention to it through speeches or writings of others because we don't directly experience it, like the heat and the cold. Most of us do not experience the phenomenal deficiencies in the country because we are securely insulated with so many factors by a very middle-class status. We are not too big, not too small, and we enjoy the God's divine grace all the time. So most of our prayers are not for progress, but security and safety in the statue quo. But then what is Sankranti? There should be a day when we should not ask for, we should not have to ask for security and safety and ask for only prosperity and progress. That is the real Sankara. Most of our prayers are spent, the puja or the prayers are spent in seeking security. If that itself is something to be sought after much by the devotee from the God, that doesn't speak very well of the country's conditions. We should have to spend our prayers and seek progress. Progress, not merely material, but an all-round welfare in the country and betterment of our living standards, moral standards, spiritual goals among the learned people. These are all very important things we should be in a position to ask for. If our very existence is secure. 
Let there be a time when we don't have to ask for any security and safety and that is automatically given to us in the conditions of the country, circumstances of the society. And when we will be able to ask for the betterment of the society, spiritual, cultural, moral, educational and all kinds of positive <coughs> progress. Progress is a term that applies to a stabilized condition. If the present condition is stabilized, then we should seek progress. So, just like we can't swim in a frozen lake, nor can we row a boat on the ice. There can be no progress, no movement, no motion in the right direction when things are not permitting us to think of tomorrow, better tomorrow, better day after. India has never believed in material wealth as the <coughs> primary requirement of human life. Human values, human life, they are synonymous. They are not different. Human life means human values alone. And that has been the Zainka norm of all our religious life, our way of lifestyle, our way of life. No day passes without praying, rising from the bed, immediately offering prayers. Clean the house and oneself and then go to prayer room, straight away. <coughs> there was a time when every household in India prayed for every other household. It slowly narrowed down. Even when there is a prayer, even where there is a prayer, we should recall the forgotten values, torments, Yes, we are see, seeing some kind of a material progress. Progress always meant the end of some problems. And the, when certain awaited events pass off peacefully, we call that also progress. Even they should have been taken for granted normally, I would say. I have blessed many new couples in the last one year. And I am going to do so this year, in 2006 as well. <coughs> so most of the pending matters are not disposed of, but settled. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is my personal material progress. This is my own personal material progress which I seek. Because I can't take anything for granted in the circumstances of the country today. Two and two may not make four. It could be three or even zero. One and one may not be making two. One and one remaining to be one and one. Mutually opposite directions moving away. This is what we are seeing today in this I mean, That should not happen. So, let us pray on every Sankaranti day for the, these conditions which I have enunciated. Just know what I have spoken should be our prayer to the Almighty. If one great man prays, the whole country can receive the moon. But at the same time, if a thousand strong men go against that prayer, we could pollute the results of prayers also. So as average men, common men, we should collectively pray for the good of the country. <coughs> country means the people, people means the culture, culture means the heritage, heritage means the past. 
kind of a prayer, external prayer with God's influence, or the average kind of a prayer. But when this meditational technique indulges in, indulges in prayers with a thought of Buddha prayers, it will be a thousand fold effective. Now we can't waste any more time in our lives. We have been living in a, in times of great changes. This might have been said about every other century that has passed, but it's no. This is valued only about the current century. Great changes have taken place in the last <coughs> century and this century during its first half. And most of our uh, evil times, perhaps, are coming to an end. And this Sankranti with its uh, planetary positions and indications is telling us, yes, the long dark night, the horrible night is coming to an end. There is going to be a dawn, dawn of our wisdom. Result of our suffering, result of failures, wisdom is experience, wisdom is experience. And that will lead us to far brighter days than we have seen. At the same time, let us thank God for being what we are, for being there where we are today, in spite of all that has been around us. This Kritavyada, this gratitude to God, is Buddha Vrayam to the God. Gratitude every morning we have to thank profusely, acknowledge every grain that we eat, every shred of a growth we bear, the shadow of the Full household in which we pass. All these things are gifts of God. By virtue of our just believing in Him, not doing it. We believe He is the giver, He therefore gives up. Somebody grabs, which is not given to Him, therefore He has to lose it. Lose it. They have always received. So whatever is received is called wealth. If it is given by God, it is wealth. They have not stolen anything. God has stolen our hearts. <laughs> That's a great fortune to have had enough so much of dependence and belief in God is our wealth. This should become more and more powerful and st stronger every day. So we should be wealthier and wealthier every day in this sense. Nothing much is to be done. We don't have to sacrifice anything. <coughs> there is no methodology to approach tradition. Or tradition not more tradition. The heart should be open for him to sit. As long as other things are crowded in the heart, how can there be any place for the incoming God to sit? So other things must be thrown out like junk furniture. And the heart, the throne of our heart, located for this. This is enough. And there will be no problem or no trouble from the natural cal calamities to anyone. Does it mean that he is protecting his only the believers and his prayers by prayers? No. Even they are not spared if there is a holocaust as a result of the sin of the nation. At the same time, our prayers for the good of all 
will enrich us with greater security. So many thoughts crowded into my mind when I was coming here. All that I would express is hardly 1% of what I have felt about the current times. What I felt that we all ought to know, be reminded of. Many, many new experiences are about to become. They are, we will come across many new experiences and many planes, material, spiritual, positive and negative values and our politics our emotional status what had tugged our heart yesterday could be most insignificant tomorrow what we regretted yesterday could not be even remembered tomorrow different status of emotion is Something that you will have to decide for yourself in the future years. And many things do happen on the social plane that is not very really unprecedented. We all Oh, yeah, debt of gratitude to the God and to the country. Let us try to <coughs> feel so rather than trying to repay. What is it that we can do? <laughs> Feeling of indebtedness or gratitude towards God Himself can redeem our debts. Your grandchildren's birthdays, Sankranti, your great grandchildren. 
ఇంటెలిజెన్స్ సంక్రాంతి సచ్
good qualities of a human being are profusely rewarded. That is why it's a good time. Yeah. 